don't got no sauce, then you, you, you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce. What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another episode. Today we are going to be getting the intercooler piping on Alyssa's car. Uh, Brian's going to be doing some of the cutting because Alyssa doesn't trust me as much cutting into her car. And honestly, I would rather blame Brian if it doesn't look good than uh, myself. You just know how that stuff goes. Uh, but anyways, Brian will go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a rundown on how we're going to mock this up. I'm trying to go the less piping we can. I'm trying to make a cut like straight here under the headlight all the way here. Basically trying to keep as much of this as we can and then we also want to make it so we can use the radiator support to actually you know support the radiator so and get the bumper on. Up here we're just gonna be running some of these pipes. So we can connect it with this one, small one right here. It's gonna be a little, just a little bit. It really won't be that much piping. Mm -mm. And then eventually, once we get it all with couplers, we're eventually gonna get it all uh, welded up in place. So I really only want like couplers here and on the intercooler side, and that's it. Everything else is just welded. But we gotta get it all mocked up first and everything before we get to that point. So let's see what it looks like with it on. And I like how the turbo is clocked up like that. Looks sick. Yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and get cutting. You're going to do the honors here? No. <laughs> All right, so we got everything mocked up. You can clearly see we're cutting right where the light is because it braces up here. So we really don't need any of this down here. And we'll have more room for extra activities. So it's up to you, man. You can only cut it right.
There she is. Looks pretty good. Not too shabby. All right, now you guys can see we got a clear access here for intercooler piping. Uh, and then once we get that on, get the intercooler on, get it all mocked up, then we'll see if our bumper fits. Bam, there it is. Looks like we got everything pretty much mocked up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and order all new uh, silicone uh, couplers. I just wanted to put this on just so we could get everything mocked up, see exactly what it is uh, that we need to order. Uh, and then this uh, coupler right here, eventually I'd like to get this welded. That way I literally just have the connections from the turbo to the intercooler and then back to the throttle body. Um, but I also gotta order this one too for sure. That's the only one that doesn't connect. Um, then we got to also drill a hole, get the blow-off valve uh, welded on. I'll probably go with the V-band, or I might use one of the eBay ones I have just for now to get up and going. But that's pretty much all we need. It's pretty cool with the K-Series. Um, when you're running the Sidewinders, you really don't need much intercooler piping, which really helps when you're trying to uh, locate where you have boost leaks uh, and so forth. Alrighty guys, as always, thank you for watching. We're going to go ahead and call the video there. Uh, next video is going to be us uh, messing with the single cam. I'll go ahead and show you guys real fast uh, what it is we got going on. The reason it wasn't in uh, this video, why we went over and worked on the uh, EF instead, um, is when you put the twin disc in, we have found... Hey, Brian, can you turn the crank for me real fast? Yes. All right, I'm going to get Brian over here and I'm going to have him turn the crank so you guys can see uh, what the problem is uh, when you do put the twin disc in. You obviously got to modify the transmission. Uh, somewhere inside there's going to be something that we're going to have to uh, grind out of the way. Hopefully it's nothing major, but I'll go ahead and have him move the crank just so you guys can uh, see what the issue is. We're glad we noticed it now instead of trying to start it and having it hit the starter and totally mess up the flywheel. Um, but let me see if I can get this on camera. I don't know if you guys can really see. Well, there you go. You can hear somewhere in the twin disc. I think it's the bolts, literally right on the top of it, or somewhere. It's uh, it's catching. So we're gonna go ahead and get the transmission out in the next video and start grinding away. See exactly what it is that we need to fix. Um, like I said, I'm glad we figured it out now instead of later down the road. We we're trying to set the timing uh, for the single cam. And we just noticed that in the process of doing it when we're trying to turn the crank. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. If you don't got no sauce, then you, you, you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce.